Hey guys, did not disappear. I am on day seven of the um, Banana Girl Challenge and I am on my third week of being totally um, raw vegan, low fat diet um, and everything is doing great. The energy levels are wonderful. Um, I just did a hour of weight training with a trainer today and feeling great. She was really surprised on how um, how everything went as far as my energy and whatnot when she found out what my diet was. So, so which, you know, it is surprising that eating all fruits and vegetables, you can accomplish more than most eating, you know, protein up the wazoo. So, so, um, which was, you know, where I came from. I came from a background of, you know, where I ended up losing over 160 pounds doing mostly high protein, uh, low fat diet. Um, but I sure didn't feel this, this great. So, um, I'm really, really excited with the path that I'm taking. Um, but the problem I'm having is a newbie is trying to keep all the fresh or enough fresh fruits and vegetables in the house. Um, without them getting too ripe too fast. Um, like today I came home from working out and I was, I wanted to have a couple bananas, but all the bananas, cause you saw my pre, if you saw my previous video, I bought a case of bananas and I've got to learn how to segment them out so that I have them all available fresh all the time and ripe. Um, but I ended up taking, uh, the bananas and putting them in the freezer as soon as they were to the point of being ripe, ripe. Um, and made myself, when I came home today, being that I didn't have anything to eat because I didn't have any dates and I didn't have any bananas, and that's my workout, you know, post-workout foods that I go to grab. So what I did is I made, I don't know if you can see this, it is really good, I made a banana smoothie. And the only thing I did is I just took the two frozen bananas um, I put in each bag, so I had four frozen bananas, and then I just took a young coconut, cracked it open, put the water in my Ninja, mixed it up, and it almost, it comes out like a frozen yogurt. And that's what it tastes like. It tastes like um, a frozen banana yogurt. It's really, really good. Sorry. I'm trying to get it in, too, before, uh, before I go out again. And then for lunch, I'm going to have that, which is four bananas. And then I'm going to slice this baby up. Doesn't that look good? Mm. <laughs> I'm going to slice this baby up and I'm going to have that. So that's going to be about 800 calories. Trying to get in 1,000 calories per meal. Um, and for breakfast this morning, I had a young, I made another smoothie. I had a young coconut um, with the meat um, and the milk or the juice or the water or whatever you want to call it. Um, and if you have a full coconut with the meat and juice, it's about 232 calories, and which 28 of those are carbs, 4 fat, 6 protein, and 8 fiber. So coconut water and the meat is really a really nice um, combination if you can add it to, uh, to your smoothies because it ups the calories and it gives you the protein and all the electrolytes. There's so many electrolytes in coconut. Coconut's really good for you. Um, and then I had uh, the bananas, um, which was 210 calories, the two bananas, and then two peaches. And I made a smoothie with that. And then, like I said, I'm having this. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. I know I'm going to have, I usually have a huge salad with tomatoes or whatever I have around the house. Um, and yesterday I made a, I took, um, a huge cabbage leaf. I, I, I can't remember what it's called, if it's dinosaur cabbage or something, but they're these really green cabbages. Um, the leaves are really bright green or dark green and they're huge. And I just made, um, homemade, um, pico and also put, oh, I made homemade salsa too, put the salsa and the pico on it. And I put some red, green, and yellow, um, peppers in it and folded that up and ate it like a taco in the in the big leaf. Um, that was really good for dinner and something different. And um, I think that's it for um, like the foods that I ate. And basically I'm 
keeping, I've been really good at keeping at the 80, over 80% um, carbs and keeping my fat. My fat, I've never really gotten up to 10% because I don't really eat, um, I might eat a handful of nuts um, maybe a week um, or lately. I haven't been really eating the nuts. I haven't been eating the avocado as much, so I'm really, my fat intake is probably only about maybe three to seven most of the times, or the most of the days. And my um, my protein has been usually around seven to seven to ten. I, I usually try to keep my protein up there a little bit. Um, but sometimes it's it's been like four a couple of days. So it just, you know, I don't know. It, I try to keep it at um, the levels as close as I can for the day. But everything's been going really great. And I just wanted to make sure I checked in. And uh, so you didn't think that I went over the cliff or anything. I have not. I've been trying to keep my calories at the twenty five to 3,000 calories um, a day. And so far, so good. The energy level has been wonderful. And I've been able to keep up my work workout routines without a problem, if not better than I was before, which is shocking the heck out of me. <laughs> so, um, which I'm sure that, I mean, I would think, I don't know, it, it just, it's shocking me that I feel as well as I do. So, that's it, guys. I just wanted to make sure I checked in and told you that everything's going great. I'll check in hopefully in another couple days. Like I said, I, I want to try to do it every day, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to with my work schedule. And that's what happened the last couple of days. My work schedule was crazy. Um, I, I just made it getting in my diary and trying to get everything in on, on Facebook for this um, Banana Girl Challenge, too, because I have to document all that also so which is nice though because it's a record um to look back on but uh i'm hoping that i'll get be able to get my husband more on board because he's really uh made some comments about my energy level and whatnot so maybe he might uh get on board later on we'll see but i love you guys have a great day